Hi, a friend sent me this problem and I thought it's the cutest ever. So let's get into it. Solve for integer x such that x factorial divided by 6 factorial is equal to 7 factorial. First, let me explain that exclamation mark. The exclamation mark pronounces factorial and it means you take numbers from 1 to 3 all the way up to that number, x, and then you multiply them all. And factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times all the way up to n. So, for example, if I take the 6 factorial down there, then I have 6 factorial is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All multiplied together. 1 times 2 is 2, times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, 24 times 5 is 120, and then 120 times 6 is 720. So 6 factorial, 6 exclamation mark, is equal to 720. And then 7 factorial is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's actually just take the 720, which is the first 6, and then multiply by an extra 7. And so, so for a small number like well, 5, 6, 7, we can do it by hand. Um, for a larger number, we probably want to get a computer calculator to do it. Right, so 6 factorial 720, 7 factorial some other number bigger than that. Uh, you may say, well, how about if we multiply both sides by 6 factorial? It's just a number, right? So we can multiply both sides by it. And then this factorial then would just go over here. And we get x factorial is equal to 7 factorial times 6 factorial. Is that the end? No, it's not the end. 6 factorial is a number, 720. 7 factorial is some other number. Multiply it together, we get some big number, yes. But it, that would only tell us what x factorial is. It doesn't tell us what x is. On the left-hand side, we have x factorial, which is equal to 1 times 2 times all the way up to x. On the right-hand side, we have 7 factorial. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But then it's multiplied by 6 factorial, meaning I restart the multiplication from 1. So it times 1 again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's a mismatch. On the right-hand side, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then a reset. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all multiplied together. Whereas on the left-hand side, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then some more going all the way to x. No reset, no restart at 1. So there's a mismatch, so it's not obvious what x is. Well, but now that I've written it out like this, I see, yes, there's an overall mismatch, but there's some matching here. First of all, because the right-hand side is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and times some more number, that means on the left-hand side, it must also equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times some more number. X has to be larger than 7. There has to be at least the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the left-hand side. So for the beginning part of this multiplication, there's a matching with the beginning part of the other multiplication. I have all of those factors that are present on both sides. I can divide them off and cancel them out. 1 through 7 is canceled out with 1 through 7. So now on the right-hand side, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whereas on the left-hand side, I have 8 times something times x, where x is the end of that multiplication, whatever the end of it is. Well, I did such a good job canceling both sides with these factors, I'm looking to do it again. I have an 8 on this side. Is there an 8 on the other side I can cancel? There's no 8, but there's a product that equals 8. That's 2 times 4. 2 times 4 equals 8, so I can cancel both sides like that. I remember that x factorial was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
etc., all the way up to x. So I cancel all the 1 through 7. I just cancel the 8. So the next number up is a 9. Can I cancel with something on the right? I don't see a 9. I don't see two numbers that multiply to 9. But if I rewrite this 6 as 3 times 2, then now I will have two numbers that multiply to 9. I have this 3 and that 3 that multiply to 9. So yeah, let's cancel them off too. 3, 3, gone. That 9 is gone. So the next number up is a 10. Well, that's it. 10 is equal to all the remaining number on this side. 1 times 5 is 5 times 2 is 10. 10 must be the last number. It's like the last comic standing. It's the last number standing. So that must have been the x then. x is equal to 10. x is the last number of this multiplication, and we just figured out that it's 10. Answer x equals 10. And if you actually plug this into a calculator, you will find out that yes, it is correct. 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial is equal to 7 factorial. Right, so we have a problem that starts out as a fancy algebra problem with ex uh, exclamation marks and everything, but it turns out to be just basic arithmetic multiplying and dividing and canceling. So that's why I thought it's such a cute problem. Well, I had fun. Hope you had fun too. Thanks for watching. Bye.